konnichiwa minasan, genki desu ka? I'm Dave and today is not the room tour! I'll, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll have more on that at the end of the video. So instead, the lovely ladies at Go Figure, Jess and Mia, tagged me to do their Go Figure anime figure tag thingy, um, where I answer a bunch of questions that I think they came up with. And I hope you guys enjoy that instead. Also, while I do that, I'm taking a page out of their book and I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this Pikachu thingy that I bought a couple months ago. Uh, and I haven't opened it yet, but we'll see what's inside. It looks like it's just a bunch of Pikachus that you can pose and it looks really, really cute. Also, if you don't know who the Go Figure girls are, they are a duo of two lovely ladies Jess and Mia, who do anime figure unboxings, kind of like I do, but they're like super awesome and I love them. <laughs> so you probably know their channel, and but if not, there's a link right here at the top, and also I'll leave a link down below in the description. Alright, so let's get on with it with question number one. What is your figure aesthetic? Aesthetic? Aesthetic. <laughs> Am I saying that right? Aesthetic. So my figure aesthetic has to be cute and adorable. I've always loved things that were like super, super cute. And that's kind of what drew me to Nendroids in general. I mean, as you can see, I have so many Nendroids and the reason why my collection is focused on Nendroids is because I just love cute things. And I mean, speaking of cute things, Nothing gets cuter than Pikachu. I mean, look, there are there are 10 Pikachus in here and they are adorable. So one of the reasons why Pikachu is my favorite Pokemon is because he's so cute. As a Nendroid collector specifically, I just enjoy how cute and adorable they are. Aesthetically speaking, um, I just I really love characters that are really cute and when they make Nendroids of those characters that I love like uh, Menma or specifically Renge, she is so cute in Nananbiori. I have to pick her up because she is so cute. And even though I collect mostly Nendroids, I do collect some scale figures too. And what, what I look for in scale figures are how, kind of how beautiful they are and how well they represent the characters I love. Oh, hold on, let me show you an example. So this is Morgiana from the anime Magi, and what draw me to this character is one, I love this character. I really love strong female characters in anime, and Morgiana is definitely one of the strongest. She came up as a slave, and she kind of fought through that, and she just became a very strong, independent woman, and that something that translates really well in this figure even though she's really beautiful and you wouldn't notice that she's a freaking badass in this figure and it just kind of encompasses a different side in her character so aesthetically speaking I love this figure because of what this character represents so when I look at scale figures, what I'm looking for is how well that figure represents the character and for Nendroids, how cute they're able to encompass that character in a small chibi form. Okay, so I unboxed all the Pikachus and as you can see, they're just Pikachus in different types of positions. Here's like a sleeping Pikachu and a just a regular Pikachu with his pointy ears. Oh, here's a really cute Pikachu waving hi. I love that. That's really cute. So for question number two, it asked, what figure are you most excited for this year? Like Jessica, the figure that I pick is Alters 1 7th scale of Nico Yazawa from Love Live. And actually she was supposed to come out in April. She got delayed to May and that kind of sucks because my May orders are already pretty large. So I'm just, yeah, I'm just really excited for this figure, but since Jess already picked her, I'll pick someone else. Mia did say that she might pick 1 7th Maki, which uh, would have been my second choice, but my third choice is actually Good Smile Company's 1 8th scale of Yazawa Nico. And funny enough, my most anticipated figure are non-Nendroids. Even though I did do that list of top five Nendroids that I'm looking forward to this year, the figures that I'm actually looking forward to the most are the figures that I don't normally collect. But nonetheless, I'm very excited 
for those ones. And I have a confession, I haven't pre-ordered the Maki or Nico uh, figure yet. I do have the Alter Nico pre-ordered, but they're kind of just sitting in my wait list. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm waiting for. I'm like, just like, come on, just add to cart add to cart and I'm like uh because as you know Ultra is very expensive and the Good Smile Company figure is expensive too so I don't really know what I'm waiting for but I definitely gotta get on it because those figures those figures could uh, go off pre-order really soon and I would hate to miss that I really should get on that okay so question number three what part of figure collecting makes your heart flutter. I really had to think about this one. This was a uh, kind of a tough question because like I said earlier I really love figures that are cute but what about the act of collecting figures makes me excited? Makes my heart go doki doki. <laughs> um, honestly, I've always wanted a collection that I could call my own. Something that I collected. When I was younger, I collected Sailor Moon cards and I have a bunch. I still have them too. They're like Sailor Moon cards or Sailor Moon stickers. I collected them and then that went over to Yu-Gi-Oh! and I had a pretty big collection of those early uh, cards. But I never had something that I was like, yeah, that speaks to me. That That is a part of who I am. But now years later, I finally found something that I'm kind of proud that I'm collecting and that I love to collect. And that would be with Nendroids. I just, I love how cute they are. I love how they make me feel. Like for example, my m most recent unboxing. This I think is the perfect image of how I feel on the inside. I'm just so excited every time I see my Nendroid collections. And the thing is, I had a friend who collected Jordans, Nike Jordans, and when we would go to his house, he would have Jordans sky high up to his ceiling. And I was always jealous of that, or I was always envious. I didn't want to collect Jordans, of course, but I didn't really have that thing that spoke to me the way Jordan spoke to him. Uh, until that, uh, that is I found Nendroids and now I have Nendroids sky high up to the ceiling like when I look at my collection it's just it makes me feel good <laughs> right and then I just love the the feeling of like this is mine this this is me this is a part of me this is a part of who I am this that I collect that I love and yeah, that's pretty much what makes my heart flutter when it comes to figure collecting. And yeah, I love it. I love it. So question number four, what is the figure you've dropped the most cash on? Um, well, I'll separate it into two. The most cash that I have spent on a single Nendroid would be... Hold on. Let me go get it. would be Snow Miku, the strawberry Snow Miku that came out a couple years ago. I bought this for $120 and what kind of bums me out is that I went to Anime Expo a couple months later after buying this and Good Smile Company's booth had this for $60 and I was like Aah. So also funny enough I have all the Snow Mikus up to date including the latest one and this is the only one I've ever opened and I opened this because I bought this from Amazon and I had to make sure it was legit. So this uh, Miku is open and I do have it displayed off, off to the side over here, off camera. So yeah, for so for Nendroids, this was my most expensive. So this right here is the most I've spent on any one figure. And this is Real Action Heroes Akiyama Yukari-chan from the anime Girls Un Panzer. Uh, as you know, Real Action Heroes is really expensive. Before this, I bought the Real Action Heroes Senketsu Ryuko, and she was previously the most expensive I've spent on the figure, until Yukari, who I think was about 20,000 yen on Ami Ami. And essentially, this is just a gigantic doll with many accessories. Like, 
pretty much a gigantic action figure. So her clothes are made out of fabric. I guess you wouldn't call this a doll because her hair isn't is still made out of plastic, but her face plates are really adorable. And this box is huge. As you can see, this box is really, really big. And you can see right here all the different poses and positions. She also has her jacket and a giant bullet. And I love this so much. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever gonna open it. I'm, I'm probably gonna open it. If you guys wanna see an unboxing in the future, let me know. You know, I had buyer's remorse when I got this in because I'm like, what? <sighs> so expensive. But I don't regret it because I love this character. She is definitely one of my favorites. Yeah, girls in Panzer. Panzer IV! Hell yes or hell no. Oh, all right, so for question number five, be honest, price figures, hell yeah or hell nah? <laughs> this is an easy one. Hell yes, price figures are awesome. So not only are they cheaper, sure, sometimes the quality isn't always the best, but for someone who is just starting out in anime figure collecting, price figures are really easy to get into. And actually the very first figure that I ever bought at an anime convention, I believe it was Japan Expo two and a half years ago, yeah about like two or three years ago, was a price figure. So right here, this Toshino Kyoko figure I bought at a convention and this was actually one of the figures that spiraled me into collecting more and more figures. So, so this was my very first figure and again, yeah, I love this figure. This figure is really cute and really fun and it was like maybe $25 and you know, that's still kind of expensive but once you get to you know, the, the altars of the world, you're going to be paying $100 for a figure, maybe even more. So I definitely support price figures. They are really cute and awesome. Look, Nico price figure. It's freaking adorable. Yui, look at look look how large this Yui is. And this is a price figure too. And they are so freaking adorable. And I also noticed they all have one leg up in the air and their arms up too. And it's freaking cute. So yes to prize figures. Don't hate on prize figures. They're awesome. And as you collect more and more, they will lead you to bigger and greater things. Okay, so for question number six, what do your parents think about your figures? Well, my mom is the type of person who is like really cool, really awesome. She's very supportive. So when she looks at my figures, she's she acknowledges how cute they are, just like I do. So my mom is such an awesome person and I love my mom to death. Sometimes she sees my collection and she's just like, oh, that's what you're spending your money on? <laughs> She never asked me how much I spend on my collection, but she knows that it's a lot of money. But hey, it's not like I'm, you know, getting drunk and doing drugs and fucking prostitutes. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm not I'm not doing any of that stuff. This stuff is harmless and it's fun and it's cute. So, I love my mom and she, she yeah, like I said, she's really supportive and and she's the type of person that as long as it makes me happy, she's happy. So, I love my mom for that. So, question number 7. What figure are you most embarrassed to show your grandma? Well, like I said in the first question, most of my figures are of really cute and adorable stuff. So I don't think my grandma would really mind uh, anything. Or I wouldn't be embarrassed to show any of these. But maybe uh, Maki in her swimsuit. This is by Alter. I think this might be a little embarrassing because he's like, Why is that plastic girl in a bikini? That, I don't know what accent that is. <laughs> But she does have an accent, so um, yeah, this might be embarrassing. And it's not that I don't like really uh, sexy and etchy figures. There is one that I would be really embarrassed to show to my grandma, and that is the prison school Mako statue. It's one where she is like kind of has her legs spread, and she's kind of kneeling down and she's covered in like latex and that latex zips down and you get to see uh, her business well you get to see her tatas her bazangas her her 
That figure I really want to buy because it's beautiful. I love, I love that figure. Um, I wish I had bought that when I had the chance. I think it was on pre-owned on AmiAmi, so I definitely want to keep an eye out. But it just made me like cute, so this one would probably be embarrassing to show my grandma, but that Mako one, whoa. That, that would be a little, I think she'd have a heart attack if she saw Mako with her latex thing completely spread open. These questions are so fun <laughs> that I'm totally ignoring Pikachu. Ah. Um, anyways, only one more question left. Question number eight. Where do you see your figure collection in 10 years? This was a tough question that I kind of had a hard time thinking of an answer for. Like, there, it could go either way. Either I have completely stopped collecting and my collection is gone, or I've continued to collect and my collection has quadrupled or five tupled <laughs> 10 years is a really long time from now so who knows where i'll be honestly i hope i'm still collecting because as you know i love my collection i love nendroids and in 10 years we'll be like right now is the 10th year anniversary of nendroids and in 10 years from now we'll have the 20th there will be so many nendroids over a thousand over 1100 nendroids probably i hope nendroids keep going they only gotten more popular over the years like I've only been collecting Nandroids for maybe two three years now so in 10 years I really hope my collection has grown like ideally I hope my channel has grown well I don't <laughs> who knows if I'm still doing uh, this channel in 10 years but like in the far future I hope like I have a, new, a, a set similar to this but it's just all Nandroid boxes like I would like to have an entire wall of just front facing Nandroids as like my set and that'll be like freaking amazing and as for my collection I hope I have a room big enough and just um, display shelves like every single Nandroid I have I have completely displayed I hope I have multiples of Nandroids so I, that I can display each Nandroid in a separate pose and they're all encased in like a glass shelf that is just rows upon rows upon rows of just so many Nandroid goodness and and these shelves light up from the from the glass <laughs> from the glass bottom like the way I'm picturing this in my mind is just like everywhere you turn there, there, there are Nandroids there's Nandroids here there are Nandroids here and you're just walking down this corridor of shelves and glass and just Nandroids everywhere like I hope in 10 years that is my reality that it's just I'm swimming in Nandroids <laughs> and I don't know how realistic that is but so hopefully I'm going to try very hard to have a home where my Nandroid collection has a place of their own. A home for my Nandroids, home for me. I really hope that comes true <laughs> because I really love Nandroids. Um, so the thing with me is that when I find a hobby that I like, I go in like just hard. I just go in real hard and do that thing. So for example, I was really into MMA fighting and I was like watching UFC on the pay-per-view. I bought a punching bag, I was working out, I bought gloves, I bought uh, head equipment and literally like a couple months later I'm like, Ugh, this, I'm too tired, I, I'm not gonna do this. So 10 years from now thinking about still collecting figures ah I, I really hope I do because it's not even that I've invested so much in this hobby it's that I really do love this hobby and I'm really passionate about anime and about these characters and I love the characters that I buy and show off in my videos because they're kind of a part of who I am just like how cute they are and and you know depending on the character what type of a person they are. I definitely see a lot of their characterizations in myself. So hopefully in 10 years, my collection is bigger, better, and I'm still as passionate in the future as I am now. So here's hoping to 10 more years of anime figure collecting. 
So that's it. Those are the eight questions that I tagged. Thanks again to Jessica and Mia at Go Figure. Check out their channel. They are amazing. As promised, I would mention about my room tour. I said that once I reach 500 subs, I would do a room tour and thanks to you guys. You guys follow through and we've surpassed 500 subs. So thank you very much. I'm very, very appreciative at, of all of your guys' support. I'm glad, I'm really happy that you like my videos enough to subscribe. Never did I think I would reach 500 subs. So, <laughs> so that's kind of a big shock to me and it feels like it's gone so fast too. Um, I do want to give a shout out to Puppy Cairo 88 Otaku Gamer on Instagram. She tagged me in one of her posts and said, please subscribe to me because she wanted to see my room tour video. So thanks for doing that. You didn't have to, but I guess you really want to see my room. So that was really cute and really funny. I like that. Um, so I'm really appreciative of your shout out. So. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to have another unboxing video of a an Nendroid. It's actually going to be a request that someone posted on my last video of Yukimura Aoi from the anime Yama no Susume. So I'm going to do that this weekend. Then I might do my April haul video because I have everything except for a couple of things that are non-anime related but I want to show off anyway. So within the next five videos or so will be my room tour. I kind of have an idea of how I want to do it, but I don't know if it's a good idea. <laughs> so I'm going to try it out, see how that, see how that works. Um, and then if that works well, that video is going to come sooner. Definitely before the end of May, that video will be out. So look forward to that. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for watching my videos. I'm really appreciative. So before I go, I was going to tag some people, but Go Figure already had that covered. They tagged all the people that I would have tagged. <laughs> so, um, so for those of you who are watching and maybe you don't have a YouTube channel, so I have the questions in the description. Go ahead. You don't have to answer all of them. Answer some of them. I definitely am interested to hear some of the stuff that you guys like. I mean, I'm sure all of us as anime figure collectors, we have a lot in common. So I definitely want to get to know you guys more. So definitely answer some, some of those questions and leave your answers down below in the comments. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. Ciao,